In this video, you'll see how to programmatically create an AWS account with AWS Control Tower. With programmatic account creation using AWS Control Tower, you can create accounts in batches, apply customizations, and verify account configuration. To begin, let's navigate to AWS Control Tower, which has already been enabled for this account. AWS Control Tower provides the easiest way to set up and govern a secure, compliant, multi-account AWS environment. You can use AWS Control Tower to ensure that all of your AWS accounts are aligned with centrally established, company-wide compliance policies. As part of AWS Control Tower, Account Factory has been deployed as a product in the AWS Service Catalog. This allows administrators to easily create new AWS accounts through a simple user interface. Let's see how to provision a new account with Account Factory. You can use Account Factory to provision accounts in your landing zone and ensure they are set up with the appropriate guardrails to protect your organization. Creating an account this way is convenient when it's just a single account. However, if you have multiple accounts to create, you can do it programmatically by invoking Account Factory through the AWS Service Catalog API. Let's cancel the wizard and return to AWS Control Tower to see how. The AWS Service Catalog API can be used to set up accounts with the same guardrails that would be configured with the Account Factory wizard. You can also configure additional details for accounts created through the command line and apply additional customizations after an account has been created. Here you can see the different organizational units, or OUs, in your organization. For this example, we'll create an account in the Development OU. You can also see the accounts that are currently configured in your organization. Next, let's navigate to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, and ensure the correct automation role is set up. We pre-provisioned this Sample Automation Administration role in the Master Account so it can be used to assume an automation execution role in the child account to perform certain tasks. When we customize the child account, we will provision this trusted role. You can see this administration role has permissions to assume the sample automation execution role, which is the role that we will create in the new account. Next, let's switch over to an AWS Cloud9 environment to create an account programmatically. You can also use the AWS Command Line Interface, or AWS CLI, in your own environment and connect it to your AWS account. First, let's run the command to ensure the AWS CLI is installed in this environment. Next, let's install JQ, a lightweight and flexible command line JSON processor. This processor will be called by several of the commands we're going to run. Next, let's configure initial environment variables. Define the region, and then retrieve the master account value. Define a value for admin ARN. Let's use an existing service role called AWS Control Tower Stack Set Role. Create a random token value. Retrieve the product ID for the account factory product in the region specified earlier. You can see the ID was retrieved successfully. Next, retrieve the provisioning artifact for Account Factory, also known as the product version. Here is the provisioning artifact to use. Next, let's create a JSON file containing the parameters we want to use to create the new account. This file will contain basic information about the account such as the user email address, first and last names, organizational unit, and account name. You can have separate JSON files for each account you create when batching the creation of multiple accounts. Derive the catalog name and email ID from the parameters file. Finally, let's run the command to create the new account programmatically. You can see this command references the account factory product ID, artifact ID, and other values defined earlier. This command can take a while to run as it creates the account and configures it with all the guardrails used by the organization. Let's run this script to monitor the status of the account provisioning every 30 seconds until it completes. When the account status changes to available, provisioning is complete. Let's query the organization for an account ID associated with the email address specified in the parameters file. 
you can see the new account ID, which indicates the account has been created. After you create an account, you can use the AWS CLI to programmatically apply customizations in addition to the settings already applied by AWS Control Tower. For example, let's create a new stack set that will define the automation execution role in the new account. This is the role that will be assumed by the automation administration role in the master account, and it's defined by the JSON file referenced in this command. The stack set has now been created. Finally, let's create a stack instance in the new account. This will create the automation execution role in that account. You can also use AWS CloudFormation templates to apply many different types of customizations to an account. Next, return to AWS Control Tower and refresh the account page. As you can see, the new account is now displayed. This account is also listed correctly in AWS Single Sign-On. Now let's sign into the new account to verify it has been configured correctly. Select the role to use for this account. We've successfully signed into the console. Now let's navigate to IAM and review the role created by the stack set. Here you can see the automation execution role. The automation administration role has already been configured as a trusted entity in the master account. This will enable the administration role to assume the execution role on this account. You've just seen how to programmatically create an AWS account with AWS Control Tower. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.